All right, check out, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we, right now, we're on a tour bus with the, the hottest man on the planet, man. My boy, Mickey Avalon. He is the hottest man on the planet. And if you don't know, <laughs> I think you should know. At least you should know that he is the hottest man on the planet. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to tell you all this, man. It's going to be the craziest interview. So, buckle up, sit tight, and get ready. Strap on. And for you people that don't know, this is UFO TV. <laughs> It's about to get crazy. We got the man himself right here, my boy, Mickey Avalon. He's the man right here. What's going on, Mickey Avalon? What's going on, man? It's a pleasure to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. And it's, and it's, a, it's, it's great to be in your presence right now, man. Just sitting here. Thank you. Thank and just all of you, you established, the up and coming artists and, and doing your thing, man. I just want to just you know, take my hat off for you, man, because you know, <laughs> you're doing a great yeah. job. So I got to ask you, man, like, I mean, you've been in Texas, you've been mm -hmm. doing some cities. I mean, how's it been so far? Oh, it's been good. We had a sold out show last night in Austin. Uh, we, I mean, we've been here every year pretty much on tour. And then uh, this tour was just a little one on like Pacific Northwest, but we wanted to come out to Texas too, because we always have a good time out here. So, and we've been doing meet, like a meet and greet after the show and it's just real crazy. Plus, I mean, there's just the prettiest girls out here. <laughs> Hey, that's what's up, man. I got a yeah, matter of fact. Bell. I was just outside, Mickey, and um, I was with the couple. And I got really, I luckily got really pretty fans. So, I mean, I you don't really need to like my music or <laughs> but or we the shows love it. to come and have a good time. I mean, I I'd like to come. I'd come if I even if I didn't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the girls really are pretty. Like, Texas <laughs> girls, hey. Hey, you know they eat their cornbread and their peas, don't you? Yeah, they eat their cornbread. <laughs> and they'll cook you cornbread. <laughs> yeah! So we actually had a lady cater for us. We've never had that before, but today and yesterday, she just kept uh, bugging bugging on, uh, me on the MySpace that she wanted to uh, wow. she wanted to cook for us. So she cooked yesterday in Austin and, wow. uh, and Houston, but I told her I wanted ribs, and she burnt them. So... <laughs> So that that wasn't a look at yeah, the Yeah, we're Texas. not doing that again. That, eh, wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But how about yeah. this? You know, I'm I'm, def I'm gonna make that up personally for myself. UFO yeah. TV style. I'm gonna make sure your <laughs> your ribs are right. Okay, yeah. Then, well, even, we just have spots that we like out here, <laughs> and I didn't go to them because this lady. You know, I figured homemade is gonna be better than <laughs> even though the spots we go to like. Like in Austin, there's a spot, Stubbs. We, I mean, there's just good spots. So then I canceled that to have her. I mean, she was sweet and all, but it tasted like beef jerky, to tell you the truth. <laughs> like, it was really, really, really bad. So, but it's all good. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Out of all the liquors that's out there, you know, you got, you got, uh, what is it? B. Diddy has, Diddy, I'm sorry, has, huh? what is it, uh, Ciroc? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and E40 has 40 water. Yeah, and then, uh, cents. And Lil Jon's got crunk juice. Crunk juice. Yeah. What's your favorite? Fuck, I mean, I just, <laughs> with, as far as booze is concerned, I just drink, like, vodka and, and water with lemon. So maybe, uh, I don't know. But my, <laughs> but mine would probably be, like, Night Train or something. Okay. Maybe Thunderbird. Something Thunderbird, cheap. Okay. Mad Dog 2020. Like, wow. just something cheap and easy. S Cisco, I don't know. So for all you people that think, oh, he's he's Hollywood, <laughs> he don't drink beers like this Negro does. <laughs> oh, he drinks the Mad Dog 2020. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know you voted for Barack, didn't you? Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't vote. But I, I would have voted. He would have. And well, I mean, I know I don't normally vote or do any of that stuff, and then and then uh, the last time they cheated real bad. <laughs> oh, so then votes, huh? and then uh, but then this time. I thought uh, if McCain was gonna win, we were really gonna, like I got a sh I got like uh, five shows coming up in Australia at the end of February and March, and then we were gonna just move there, just keep the bread <laughs> for, for real. Cause, like, but thank God we don't have to see what that's gonna what that's gonna look like, you know? Because I don't even care about I don't even care about all the good shit that uh, he says he's gonna do. I just care about the bad things that hopefully ain't gonna happen. I that's mean, true. That's so true. Like, so true. Was, and now you look and you're like, I can't even believe. I mean, now they know that there's no way that it could have went down that way. You, I mean, this chick is like doesn't even know English barely. The chick who was running Palin, she yeah. said she said Alaska was a country. Yeah, you know, so in that a state? No, Africa. <laughs> she said that, yeah, so, Africa. Yeah, that's yeah. what she said. So you know, so it's. I'm glad. I think it's gonna be cool. 
<laughs> oh, I gotta ask you another thing. This girl asked me out on the line. I was in the line. I was, I was coming by, and there's a good friend of mine that recognized me from Tom Ball. Tom Ball. Her name was Brianna. She says, you know, uh, Calvin. She about to, she's crying. Honestly, she says, oh, I love Mickey. And I hit him up on his MySpace. And I told him it was my birthday. You know, and I'm going to be 18. I'm going to be at his show on my 18th birthday. She wearing like a, a blue sweatshirt? Hoochie, yeah. Huh. Yeah, the hoochie huh. thing. You know? oh, okay. <laughs> and she said, please remind me. I'm sorry, I'm just doing it like her. Just uh, rea- reenacting it here. Yeah. You know, don't make fun of me here. You know, Mickey, I'm doing it for you, Brianna. You owe me for this. Yeah. You, Mickey, please get him to tell me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Brianna. No, I remember because I actually don't have. I usually don't have much to say in between the songs, and everyone's looking at you. So we'll be like, "There's a meet and greet after. Come there." I remember this place, and uh, after the show, some like uh, this is a place where they actually have it organized pretty good, and they have the line good because. Like the other night in McAllen, I, I had to just bail because we go. I'll go to the merch booth and, and sign pic, you know, sign titties, uh, shirts, <laughs> take pictures, and it just got too much, so I had to bail. But if they have the line right, then we could usually take care of it. Well, can I ask you a so question? Show today. Yeah. This is definitely UFO TV, and I think that you're amazing. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think you're an amazing person for letting us do this, and I, and I know for sure this is. This is like the Obama. Like I told people that he's going to be the next president. This guy's going to be the next superstar. He already right. is a star in my eyes. But you know what? I'm looking for that 10, 12 million copies sold. I mean, I just want to do it just because you you wouldn't you wouldn't think uh, you. I mean, like this is you know it's we got a bus, so we're That's already awesome. to the next level. It's not like a van, but still, like it's it takes a lot out of you. I mean, even now, like. I got to go on in like half an hour or something. You got to deal. You get what you pay for. So when you you know like all the people that we that we hire are like our friends and stuff. So like there's all that to deal with. So really like when you get we went like for example we went on tour with the Chili Peppers and they got like the private jets and all that shit. And it's like you know honestly once you have it like that then you just have more time to focus on like writing and making music in here because like uh when you know when you're like trying to come up like the struggle's kind of a good thing but when like the ball's already kind of rolling then that could end up taking more out of you than necessarily like inspiring you you know like like all you know like Mm -hmm. you know being tired and like trying to do you know do too much shit so and uh and like i thank god we got good we got good fans and and having to uh you know rub elbows with them is, is fun but uh when it's when it's real big then you can kind of just cruise you know cruise under underground Damn. like fly in like these fools like we when we were in the with the chili peppers that was in europe and they just like i said they got private jets they could uh that we were in amsterdam so he just brought just like a chunk of hash right on the plane you can smoke fucking weed right on the plane so so awesome. but i mean I, I'm, I'm grateful that we have this uh like i got a room in the back the last bus i didn't have a room it was just like couches and i just kind of slid up curled up but now i got an actual bed it's amazing man. um texas there's like a, a checkpoint near McAllen. we got through that they came on with the cops but they just came this far and walked the dogs around we brought everything up into the bus so it, you know as long as i stay out of uh jail um and stay alive i'm kind of it's all good and my daughter's in private school right now but i would like to do things bigger just to get that many more people digging what we're doing anyhow you know so more people know about it and uh I see, it seems like what we're doing seems to inspire people. I didn't do it for that reason, but if more people could get inspired, that'd be a good thing.